Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'll be talking about the final act for the for the Valorant China Evolution series that being heritability. Uh, this is obviously, like I said, the final act. Uh, before we get into Ascension, there has been some details about Ascension for China, but I'm not really too sure still about it. So let's get right into it first set up with the teams. There are the teams uh, more than usual. I think Act 1 2, they both had 8 teams and now we have 12 teams. So, obviously, Edward Game in attack, I saw Esports, Trace Esports, and Vera Atom. All four of them, they came from the Act 2 selection. And then from the uh, six teams that came from the play ins, which includes Top Esports, Billy Billy Gaming, Dragon Ranger Gaming, Fun Plus Phoenix, TEC Esports, Roll Never Give Up, 17 Gaming, and LGD Gaming. Here are the players as well. You might know them, you might not know them, it doesn't really matter. Let's have another look now at the results. So first up uh, with the up bracket round one. That was believe this was one that I streamed. It was kind of just light because um I mean there were two uh yeah, two Australians or three Australians if you count swell uh competing in this. But it was a very convincing 2-0 victory for FPX against Royal Never Give Up. 13-5 on Breeze, 37 on Locus and Berlin getting MVP. No surprises there. Dragon Ranger had a very, very good tournament. Well, I I, I would say well, decent tournament we'll say. Uh they Basically, uh, they it, it was first a very close game against TEC and by 13-10, but then absolutely destroyed them, 13-1 on Ascent, and it was Vakashu getting MVP, the Russian player for Dragon Ranger. Billy Billy Gaming, they demolished L LGD Gaming, 13-5 on Haven, and 13-0 on Lotus, oh boy, and it was YZ getting MVP. And top esports, they come out pretty good swinging, I, I, I shall say. 2 1 victory for them against 17 Gaming. 13 10 on Split, though, went to 17 Gaming. And 39 on Haven and 30 11 on Sunset went to top esports. And Sylvan getting MVP. Lower bracket round one now. Actually, no, this one. Uh, I'll break a quarter finals. Trace esports, they beat out Fun Plus Phoenix 2 1. 14 12 on Lotus, I went to FPX, a very close game. They had 37 on, on, on Sunset, 13 5 on Ascent, and was you getting MVP. Rare Atom versus Dragon Ranger, and it was a 2 0 victory for Rare Atom against Dragon Ranger, 13 5 on both Lotus and Ascent, and it was Stu getting MVP. Attack and Soul Esports, they, they beat up Billy Billy Gaming to 1 13 2 on Lotus for Attack and Soul, and 13 10 on Split for, for Billy Billy. And 13 10 on mine for attack and salt and with a life gain MVP. And finally, Edward Gaming versus Top Esports, and it was a 2 0 victory for Edward Gaming against Top Esports. 13 10 on Sunset, 13 2 on Haven, and it was Smoggy gain MVP. Now we, now we move over now to, to low bracket round one Dragon Ranger versus LGD Gaming, and it was Dragon Ranger. Uh, uh, basically demolishing LGD gaming as they were eliminated early from the tournament. 13-4 on, on Haven, 13-3 on Ascent, and it was, I don't know how you say this name, Tavares Luke? I'm not really too sure, but he got MVP. Fun Plus Phoenix, they keep their title, well, their, 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 chance, their chances alive as they beat a 17 game in a very, very close game on by 16-14, then 13-5 on Lotus, uh, Berlin getting MVP. Top Esports versus Raw Never Give Up uh, was a 2-0 victory for Top Esports against RNG as they were eliminated from the tournament. 36 on Lotus and 13-8 on Ascent. It was Jakuro getting MVP. And this one was very, very interesting. Billy Lee Billy Gaming versus TEC Esports. It was a 2-0 victory for TEC. Yep, you heard that correctly, TEC. What's more interesting though is on Lotus. You see a little ISO, or ISO, however you want to fuck to call it. ISO was played, I'm pretty sure, for the first time competitively. So this was the first time that we've, that we've, that we've seen ISO play competitively. I was really thinking main Valorant, he made a phenomenal video, uh, basically breaking down all the rounds that ISO was actually um, basically impacted around, or like, just this um, movements, or... Uh, mechanics that uh, ISO was you. I mean, it went decently. It wasn't the best, but it was, it was decent. I mean, it definitely saw some good level of gameplay and some good ideas as well from TEC, but uh, I, I still think teams are still maybe trialing him out, maybe, and maybe to see if he is a good replacement, but he was interested in either way to see, uh, to, to see ISO or ESO play. And then, uh, so obviously 13 on Lotus and 14-12 on Brace was Abbo again MVP. Once again, 
Billy Billy game in a very, very disappointing end uh, to their run in Act 3. Uh, lower round 2 now, and it was Fun Plus Phoenix continuing their lower bracket run as they beat out Dragon Rangers. 16-14 on Lotus and 13-9 on Ascendant's Autumn getting MVP, the Australian uh, for that team. TUC continues their very phenomenal run as they beat out top esports, so very, uh, pretty surprisingly, I'll be honest. 2 0 victory for TUC, 13 10 on Splare, 13 4 on Haven, it was Abo getting MVP. Now we move on now, up to now the upper bracket semi finals. It was Vera Atom versus Trace esports, a 2 1 victory for Vera Atom against Trace, 13 9 on Lotus over Trace, and 13 10 on a center, 16 14 on Bind for Vera Atom and Stu getting MVP to advance themselves into the upper bracket final. Here we're gaming, they beat out Attack and Soul. A bit shaky, I'll be honest, on this one. Um, a 2 1 victory for Edward Gaming. 39 Lotus, though, for Edward. Then 13 11 on Split, though, for Attack and Soul. And 15 30 on Haven for Edward Gaming. It was Hong Kong and MVP. Lower back quarterfinals now was FPX, continues their run as they beat out Attack and Soul. 37 on Lotus for, for FPX, and 39 on Haven though for Attack and Soul, but then absolutely demolishing 13-1 uh, for FPX against Attack and Soul on Ascent. It was Autumn once again getting MVP. Trace Esports, they they basically blew TEC's magical run through the lower bracket as they beat him out pretty convincingly 2-0 victory for them. 13-3 on, on Sunset, 13-8 on Haven for Trace, and it was Fang F getting MVP. And how about FPX? They continue their run as they beat out Trace Esports 37 on Lotus over Trace. And then 36 on Sunset, 37 on Split. And it was A again MVP. Now let's talk about this one. I think though I think this is one that everyone is mainly talking about. Um obviously ISO making his competitive uh debut. That'd be Rare Atom beat out Edward Gaming. Pretty convincingly though on Sunset, however very very close on Lotus, 14-12 on Lotus, a 13-6 on Sunset, and it was Stu getting MVP. Now I know you can't see it, but Kung Kung played Cypher. That is incredibly cursed, and it is cursed. Normally he would be playing the Chamber, but he played Cypher. Now I don't know if that was a misclick or not, uh, but obviously it did not work. I feel like it might have been a misclick, because that Cypher and Chamber, I'm pretty sure like both of them are like right next to each other, but... Yikes. <laughs> That's uh, a massive lot. I, I, unless Hal Dong basically said, alright, Kong Kong, they're going Cypher. I highly doubt that he meant to choose Cypher, and I think he meant to choose Chamber. That's my uh, my my opinion. That might happen, but I highly doubt that it, that Kong Kong was willing to choose Cypher. Uh, let's now move it now to the to VLR as we head over now to the uh, to the best of five or the best of three matches, I should say. Well, I should I should actually say best of five or whatever. So, first one from the lower final that be Edward Gaming versus Five Plus Phoenix, a three-one victory for Edward Gaming. Uh, pretty convincing win, I'll be honest. I mean, awesome though. He uh he kind of popped off. Uh, OC on top, I guess. Plus twenty-seven K ratio. Uh, Chi Chu Smoggy, he uh, both are doing doing a great job, and then there's I was a Kang Kang who did choose, who did play Chamber on Sunset. So I am very, I am generally thinking, I'm, this might be a guess, but I don't think he meant to choose Cypher. I think it was a misclick. I mean, it's happened before, and I'm pretty sure, I think once, like, a team um, uh, screwed up their comp and they had to reset or something. I'm not really too sure. I might be wrong. I can't remember if that actually, had, if that actually had ever happened. I'm pretty sure it did, but I don't know which region happened, but whatever. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, it further solidifies my opinion that I think it might be the misclick, but we move on. Uh, Ascent, though, that went to FPX, 13-7. Once again, Autumn doing a phenomenal job. 30 kills and 8 death. That is a phenomenal from Autumn. Plus 22 KDA ratio there. Chichi also doing a good job as well. 13-5 on Lotus for Edward Gaming. Kang Kang, I mean, he's coming back alive. Chichi as well. Uh, Bree, Chichi once again on top. Autumn on, also on top there for FPX. And 13-11 on Sunset for Edward Gaming once again. And was Smoggy, Kang Kang, both of them on top. And Autumn and Berlin also doing a great job there. And performance-wise, I'm not really too sure what it is. And it's not there. Thanks, VLR. But uh, all, all you need to know is that Autumn did a phenomenal job. Basically hard carried FPX, but it just wasn't enough. And uh, Shishu, Smoggy, both of them were doing very, very good as well. And then for the grand final, it was Rare Atom versus Edward Gaming. It was a 3-0 victory for Edward Gaming against Rare Atom. I am not surprised in the slightest. Um... Only Yihao was the only player who actually went positive. 
that was all. Kang Kang once again doing a phenomenal job, but even though it was only a plus five, was still a very good job there. But from Kang Kang, nobody, how long she shoots, some of the girls are doing a pretty decent job as well. Uh, but right, I didn't really see a lot of impact, I'll be honest with them. They kind of, they were kind of um, deaf, they were kind of skill issued, I'll be honest. 13-11 on Vine for Edward Gaming. Yo Man also doing a pretty good job in completing Martin, but just was not enough to sub a very hard charging Edward Gaming. 39 on Lotus once again for Edward Gaming. How Dong had a game of his life and then split. Don't really know, but all we know that it was 13-3. I'm guessing we can't see the performance as well. Yeah, nothing as well. So you probably maybe have a look at them in like a 50 days time because the VLR is so incredibly slow. Before I end this video, I just want to just quickly mention the VCT China Ascension. So apparently there'll be a roster lock which will be at the end of November, which is uh, is which when I'm recording this, it is actually on the 26th. So pretty soon basically is when is when the, the rosters will be locked forever. And the event date is on the is on December uh twelfth, uh which is on a Tuesday. Basically. So um that'll be interesting and I will once again be covering Ascension. I still don't really know what's gonna be happening in Ascension. This is a bit all over the place in my opinion, but uh, I'm not really too sure. Let's have a look now at standings wise before we end this video. Hopefully, Edward Gaming, obviously, they were the winners, being they won all three acts, so no really surprise there. And then, Rare Atom, second place, and Trace, FPX, Attack and Soul, Billy Gaming. One Never Give Up moves up one spot, Dragon Ranger moves up four, Tidally moves down two, and Top Esports moves up 25 spots to finish in the, in the top 10. Then, TUC up 39 spots, 17 Gaming moving up 27 spots. Then Ninja the Pajamas, Team Weibo, Night and uh, Night Wing, uh, Night Wings Gaming. They moved down four. For Angry Men, also moved down three. LGD Gaming moved up thirty-two spots to finish in seventeenth place. And then JD Gaming, Nova Esports, and Keep Beast Gaming, all of them going down four spots. So yeah, not really too sure what's gonna happen with Ascension. It's still a bit up in the air, but it is what it is, I guess. So now I would like you now to like comment and subscribe it would really help me especially on this channel as we get nearer to the end of this yeah i just want to say as well thank you to everyone who has been subscribing lately i really do appreciate it and once again i will be covering more china evolution as well as we obviously head over to ascension so that's really about it for me hope you guys enjoyed it catch you guys the next time in the next one goodbye